Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monti. This is a one year daily candle chart of the Russell 2000 index, ticker symbol RUT. And I've left my lines on the chart from last week's report so you can see exactly how the forecast worked out. Now, remember, last Friday, before any of these candles were even on the chart, I drew this line, it's a diagonal line going lower. And I said that the Russell 2000 will most likely drop, and the end of the line is my target price. So you can see this is a perfect forecast where for the whole week the Russell 2000 dropped and came right to that line that I drew right there again from last Friday. Now, what does this mean for next week? Well, I'm going to race this line because we are seeing some short-term bullish signals coming into the Russell and first of which is that we have a former resistance right here is now acting as a support level now again that's bullish point number one is that the market dropped right to that support level number two we see that the 20 period moving average which is that blue line is also acting as a support level and you can see that Again, this is from May 5th. The low came right to the 20 period moving average. So that's bullish point number two. Bullish point number three is that we have a hammer pattern yesterday, which is that long shadow under the candle. That's a bullish sign. That tells us that the sellers tried to push it below the 20 period moving averaging and drive it lower. And the buyers came back with force and pushed the sellers up away from that 20 period moving average. The next bullish point is the most significant, and that is a bullish engulfing pattern right here. This long green candle engulfs or eclipses the previous red body here. So my forecast for the Russell 2000 for next week is I believe that we're going to bounce off of that support level and we're going to go right up to this will be my target price right around 1410. So keep that in place. Check it next week. You can see if, in fact, the forecast is accurate, and we'll go from there. Now, on the diamonds, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, took symbol DIA, you can see that the market came down, but it didn't come down all the way to my target. I really thought that we would come and fill these gaps, but it didn't. So the price dropped halfway down my forecast line, and then we had the same signal show up like we did on the Russell 2000. So my forecast for next week, again, short term, we have a hammer pattern here. We have a roll reversal right here, roll reversal support from that high back here. We have a bullish engulfing pattern. So I think next week the diamonds could actually break out over this resistance high. We'll have to see whether or not it's able to break out through the high from back here in March, March 1st. But I do think that we're going to break through the first level of resistance right here. So, again, that's my forecast line. There's my target for the Dow, right around 21,100. And we'll leave that one in place as well. So, going to the spiders, tick symbol SPY, this is the S&P 500. Same scenario as the Dow. We came down a little bit. Hammer pattern here. We have a green candle right at the resistance point for the spiders. And we have that on slightly higher volume. So I believe next week the S&P 500 is going to break through that resistance and rally. We see support of that. We got some economic news that unemployment rate is down. That's always translated as a more bullish indication for the markets. And I'm going to remove my line right there. Now, if you are trading the Dow or the S&P, or the Russell 2000, or any stocks that are part of those indices, you have to be careful and make sure that you set your stops correctly. This would be a support level right here for the S&P. That's the roll reversal support level. 
and any stops or triggers would be right below that support level. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you some resources to go over so that you can understand some of these concepts, especially roll reversal, hammer patterns, bullish engulfing patterns, and the like. So that's the spiders. Now, if we go to the cues, it's going to look very similar to what we saw in the spiders, with one exception. The markets didn't pull back at all. We have a green candle right at a resistance point here, and we have that on higher volume. So out of all the markets that I've covered so far, the NASDAQ is actually looking the most bullish for the short term. So keep that in mind. The small cap stocks generally outperform in the first and even second quarter of the year. And so we still have a gap down below the market. So you have to be careful of that because eventually after the market breaks out, and I think it will, that's my forecast for the Qs. After that, I think we could drop back down to fill these gaps. Gaps are target prices. Again, I'll give you the link to the video library so you can go over gap trading as well. Now, finally, the VIX. This is the best leading indicator that we actually have. And although the VIX had gone up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and even on Thursday, we have a bearish engulfing pattern, interestingly enough, on the VIX from Thursday. Now, this is an interesting thing because as I erase this line, you'll see that a bearish engulfing pen right on a key support level could mean that the VIX could actually drop and set a new 20-year low. So I think the VIX could go lower, which would be bullish for the S&P. But remember, all of this is short-term forecasting. The VIX and this gap is what I'm paying most attention to because on the VIX, and I mentioned this last week, the VIX fills the gaps 100% of the time. It's an oscillating indicator. It's not a stock. So gaps fill 100% of the time. So eventually, if this gap fills up here, right around 14, that is going to be extremely bearish for the S&P 500. So we have to really keep an eye on the VIX, keep it on your watch list. Again, I think we could break down the new lows, but eventually, I can, I can bet my career on this one, eventually that gap will fill. And you can hold me to it. We're on a recording here. I archive that. I let the world know about it. Hold me to it. Mark my words right there. That gap eventually will fill. So going to the resource library, if you go to marketguys.com, that's www.themarketguys.com, real simple. You click on the video tab right there, and it's going to bring you to our resource library. We call these market shots. They're very, very short videos, and you can see that here's the gap trading video. It's trading the gap. That's the one you have to look at. You can look at the role reversal. These are all the points that I've covered in this report. You could also look at the engulfing patterns, which is the video right here. I'll show you bullish and bearish engulfing patterns. They work about 80% of the time. So keep an eye on that, and then you'll be able to follow with the rest of the videos very easily. They're very short videos, like I said. So have a great weekend. Thanks for following us. We really appreciate that, and we're looking forward to our next report. Have a good one. Bye-bye. This video segment is a small part of what the Market Guys offer through their educational products and services. If you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at